Hey guys, what's up? My name is Kayla and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be speaking on the number, the biblical meaning of the number five. If you've been seeing five, 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 God could be speaking to you if you've been seeing this from repetition. Now, I do want to say you cannot put God in a box, okay? God created numbers. He numbers the very hairs on our head. He knows the number of days we live. Um, there's Bible verses and uh, there's numbers attached to those verses. There's a whole book in the Bible called Numbers. So God created this and if he wants to speak to someone through numbers, he absolutely can. You're going to see that there's a repetition in the Bible of specific numbers. And so today I'm going to be speaking on the biblical meaning and the prophetic meaning of five. So, also, if you've been seeing other numbers, such as 222, 1212, 1010, 1111, 1222, and so on, I have other biblical numbers videos. If you're interested in those, you can check them out. I'll probably link them in the description below. But before we get started, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Comment if you've been seeing 555 or if this video has been helpful. And you can always subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time I post. But so getting into this video, there's a lot of information that I found and that I did research on. So the number five, there's actually five meanings to the number five. And that is grace, favor, abundance, an abundance of grace, and then mercy. So in the fifth beatitude, in the Bible, it says that God blesses those who are merciful, for they will be shown mercy. And so that goes back to that meaning of mercy. It, it's saying that God will bless those who are merciful, and they will be shown mercy. In Isaiah 55, verse 5, it says, Surely you will summon nations you don't know, and nations that you do not know will come running to you because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for He has indulged you with splendor. And that splendor basically meaning that people are going to come running to you for your splendor because God has given you favor. That goes back to one of the five meanings of the number five, favor and that splendor. People are going to come running towards you because of it. Also on the fifth day, God created the first living creatures and these creatures had actual minds and emotions. So God created the animals and provided an abundance by allowing them to multiply. So an abundance and multiplying. Um, basically the first creatures that were able to, the first of anything that was able to multiply and create more. And that is that goes back to that abundance. Moses wrote five books in the Bible. It's the whole Torah. That's so what the Jews believe in, only the Torah, the five books, of, the first five books of the Bible. And then also going to the story of David. When David goes to battle Goliath, he chooses five smooth stones to battle against him, which he only needed one. And um, it says in 1 Samuel 17, verse 40, he picked up five smooth stones from a stream and put them into his shepherd's bag. So he picked up five but he was able to overcome by grace and favor and him only actually needing one of those stones. So I believe it means that uh, this was like a grace and a favor on his life that maybe the average person might have needed those five, but he only needed one of them because of the grace and favor of God on his life. So in the Bible, bread represents Christ's body. And so in John 6, verse 9 through 13, it says that Jesus feeds 5,000 people with loaves of bread and two fish and there were some being left over Jesus breaks the bread and with God's abundance grace and favor it's multiplied right so this bread is multiplied and able to feed all 5,000 people and again just like Jesus one body paid for everyone's sins so it was multiplied Five times five equals 25, which represents grace upon grace. I'm, I'm kind of just jumping around, so bear with me. There's five books in the Bible that only have one chapter. Pretty interesting, right? Leviticus 5 verse 5 says, 
When you become aware of your guilt in any of these ways, you must confess your sins. So that's that confessing your sins brings that grace and that mercy upon your life. 2 Samuel 5, verse 5. David had reigned over Judah from Hebron for seven years and six months. And from Jerusalem, he reigned over all Israel and Judah for 33 years. So that chapter 5, verse 5. It's testifying of God's favor and grace for David in all the years that he was able to rule and reign um, over these areas of Israel and Judah. So John chapter 5 verse 5 through 8 describes how one of the men lying there had been sick for 38 years. Jesus saw him and knew he had been sick for a long time. So Jesus goes up to him and he asks him, would you like to get well? This is God's grace and mercy on that man's life. And that is from John chapter 5 verse 5. In 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 5. It says in the same way you who are younger must accept the authority of the elders. And all of you dress yourselves in humility as you relate to one another. For God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. So that's that grace. That we've talked about and holy anointing oil is made by using five ingredients this is found in exodus 30 verse 23 through 24 and basically all five of these ingredients are used to when you anoint something you're basically setting it apart and you're making it holy with god's grace so i hope that's helpful so basically the number 555 is reiterated over and over in the bible Describing it as used as grace, favor, abundance, an abundance of grace, and that mercy that we had talked about. So if you're seeing this number, 5555, I wrote a lot down in my laptop. But if you're seeing this number, God could be saying that he's given you mercy, he's given you grace, an abundance of grace, or he's given you favor, and so on. God could be speaking that over you or that, or it could be a prophetic meaning. You know, maybe you've done all these bad things in your life. You're like, man, God could never love someone like me or forgive someone like me. But God's saying he has an abundance of grace for you. He's showing you mercy. There's favor on your life. And he just wants you to keep moving forward. Go and look up those Bible verses that I talked about and you'll see how grace and favor and mercy and abundance is shown over and over again in these people's lives that I had talked about. So no matter what they did, they did keep moving forward in God and keep seeking God. And so because of it and because of the humility, you know, God had this favor and grace for them. Hope that was helpful. If you're interested in those other videos, check them out subscribe and I'll be back as the spirit leads of course so bye guys